Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you three batting exercises. One for balance when you're playing your shots, one for your running between the wickets, and one exercise for increasing your batting power when you're playing your shots. Okay, so the first exercise that I'm gonna show you is a balance base exercise. Now you may have seen in one of my last videos I talked about statue batting, so when you play a shot and then you hold the balance. Well let's make it a little bit more dynamic. This time what we're going to do is try to move into a shot and then hold the balance. So often when batsmen are caught off balance it's after they've come down the wicket and then they try to play a shot because you've got that momentum coming forward which makes it even harder to balance. So let's mimic that movement and get good at holding our poses. Let me play around with a couple. So step, step, let's try the drive. Let's try a bit of a flick off the legs. Step, step, hold the balance. A big shot over the top. Woo. Okay, so it's pretty tough because you're adding that more dynamic movement into the balance, but by practicing this, you are gonna become more of a balanced player. It gets to work on strengthening your stabilizing muscles, supporting your ankles, knees, and hips, so it's a great exercise to do. As you know, during a game, your ability to get those extra ones and twos can be your ability to run harder for longer, especially towards the end of an innings. So this is a great drill to improve your batting cardiovascular fitness with your sprinting between the wickets. So find an open space or do this outside and set two cones 10 to 20 meters away from each other. Then what you're gonna do is sprint as hard as you can for three lengths, as if you're running a three. Put your hand down towards the cone each time as if you are reaching your bat towards the crease. And then once you complete three, you're gonna walk back again to the start position, this is your recovery. So give that a go between eight to 10 times as a great running between the wicket drill. So this last exercise is to increase your power, your core rotational power, which means this exercise would be great for things like cross batted shots. This is called a wall ball, or you could use a slam ball. It's only three kilograms. Remember, you don't want this to be really heavy. What you're trying to do is keep a lighter weight, but generate as much force as you can in that core rotation. Here, I'm gonna imagine playing a slog sweep shot over the top. You don't wanna rely on your shoulders, you wanna rely on that core rotational force. Okay, so find a wall, get your ball. That is a great exercise to do when you're at the gym or if you can get your hands on one of these to do at home. So I hope those exercises can help you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new, click the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video and give this video a big thumbs up. You rock and I'll see you in the next video.